right here is a super cool new upgrade for your RV. At least I think it's super cool. What we're gonna have to do is test it out. It was sent to me to do this review, but with no instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox it. We're gonna set it up, see if it works. And what it is, is a backup camera, but it's not just a backup camera. It's HD, it's wireless, and it is a huge screen at a seven inch screen. So enough details like that. Let's open it up, take a look at it, we'll talk about it, and then we'll set it up and see if it actually works. So I do have to tell you, we are between RVs, so I'm gonna have to simulate it with our truck, but it will work perfectly the same way it would work on your RV. I think that the idea that it is both solar and magnetic is ridiculously cool. So this is obviously, look at the size of that screen. That's a seven inch screen. That's gonna look ridiculously cool in the truck or in your RV comes with some basic instructions, some basic wiring, a little micro screwdriver, a mount. Ooh, this is kind of heavy. This better be a good magnet. Real quickly, you can see the camera, the infrared lights. This is where the antenna plugs in, the solar panel, and this is rubberized on the back, which makes sense if it's magnetic. I think the very first thing we need to do is test the magnetic out, right? Whoo! That is solid. That is, I mean, I don't, I don't, it doesn't take two hands, but oh boy, is that solid. I have, that is really cool. Okay, there's only one thing to do. Let me charge it up and then let's put it in my truck, see how it works. Ooh, I like that. So I will say it does come with an SD card with it. There we go. All right, so this also has a little antenna. Just goes like this on here. All right, a couple things I wanted to tell you. First off, I resolved the problem of not having metal in the back by putting the camera uh, up there, which has worked absolutely perfectly. So cool, so little setup, all that really works well. I'm told there is a future update coming where they're gonna have like a metal plate that you can put on the inside of a composite area, and that way the uh, magnet will work through, which what I cannot believe plastic on my truck. And just so you can see, I've got it mounted on the dashboard there. So it has worked absolutely perfectly. Like if this was on the back of our RV, just stuck it right on the back. I can take it off, put it on the back of the truck, drive around it as a daily driver. The video image is great as you have seen. I do have one small complaint, little teeny complaint. I find it goes toggles back and forth between like the color image and the infrared image a little too much for me. It's not like it does anything terrible, but I find that that kind of transaction, I find that transition flashing back and forth a little distracting on the dashboard. I kind of wish it was a little less sensitive, either it would stick with color or it would stick with infrared, but like it's, you, you've seen in the video, every once in a while it flashes back and forth between the two. It's just a little, little irksome thing, maybe a tip for the manufacturers. In any case, I'm gonna give this a full five out of five on the Doug score. It has been outstanding. Even Nikki likes having it in the car. In any case, I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.